Hey guys, how's it going? This is Some Guy, and today I'll be giving my opinion on a new Mazza track. Um, I think it's just Mazza in this one. This is Cheeky Bastard, um, off the collab project with Wes Veli. Um, I think it came out like 12 days ago. So, and yeah, shout out to Big Dog and Jay for recommending this, um, put me onto it. Um, yeah, if you've seen my channel before, you know I rate both of these guys massively. So, keen to hear this, let's jump in. Oh, this sample. Who used that recently? Oh, is that? Uh, I forget the name of the song now, but it was uh, Fido Foreign N24 and somebody else. But yeah, tune that was. Mm. Wow, okay, hang on. Some bars already. Slap with the star like Patrick, obviously a spun reference. Oh, sorry, it's tuning. Mm. Out with the ball, no mastiff. That, I've not heard that play before, actually. So interesting. I've, I've I've made kind of this point before, but the uh, it seems like the, the artists from Liverpool and Manchester as well, to be fair, um, just suddenly flip from like semi typical drill topics, you know, kind of flexing and talking about their gang lifestyle to talking about like um the flip side of it the yeah the the negatives that come with it mm. Mazza. what the, the the intro track you did they did with the two of them for this album uh, words of belly was good on it but Mazza, i seem to remember been blown away by some of the pockets he finds just like at least once on a song normally he'll hit one pocket where i'm just like wow yeah he's very very talented at that in that regard there's so many bars here as well like i don't want to keep pausing it like i already am but um obviously it's a fantastic full reference there he's talking about sweets i heard uh, Mm. Oh, he was 16 when he got locked, because I think I'm right in saying that he's been in, as he just said, for a couple of years. But I think he's coming out soon. One of the two is, I think it's him, and the other I think has got a long sentence. Um, so yeah, that'd be cool to hear, um, if I'm right, Mazza hopefully with like a studio produced track or, or album because he sounds so good with jail recordings so like you'd imagine with proper um with a proper studio hello like, it just yeah it sounds incredible mm. that was slick that was slick because he said uh, got sent to the Crown, which I think is a reference to the Crown Prosecution, the Crown Prosecution Service. Um, must be a jewel. So obviously, it's kind of uh, a linked, a link there. Obviously, the um, the jewel in the Crown. It's like a, it's like a phrase, isn't it? Um, but I, I, I like when artists <clears throat> do that, but 
a bit more subtly. So like on the next line, um, or even later, because yeah, I don't know, it just shows a bit more thought's gone into it. Hey, what did he say there? Okay. Yeah, so I paused that. I think he was saying that was light work. I thought for a minute he was like kind of calling out for a light work um, freestyle, um, which would be sick actually. Um, all, all the platforms plugged in, uh, mix their madness when it, uh, Kenny Allstar and all that when when he uh, when he does get out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was hard. Like, even if it was only two minutes, um, I still managed to make it a reasonably long reaction. Um, but yeah, I always, I'm always impressed by Mazza's uh, flows. And then he's not only got that, he's got like the odd, well, quite often to be honest, but he drops clever bars and plays on words and yeah, just a fire artist. So yeah, thanks for the recommendation again. Um, <clears throat> I might check out some other tracks from this um, collaboration album. Um, let me know if there are any specific ones that anyone recommends um, or any other recommendations from from uh, Scouts artists. But yeah, other than that, please like and comment if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm out.